Welcome back to Lakeside Lanes in Manchester, New Hampshire for the conclusion of the semi-final match in this Pro Series Random Draw Doubles event. You saw the first half of the match last week and you can see that the team of Jesse Jakes and Jeff Slazinski has a lead of 15 pins plus 2 marks against Brandon Marks and Kevin Davis. And as we begin the second half, Jesse Jakes drops eight on the spare that he left in the in the fifth. He's got a seven eight split with a piece of wood way out in front of the seven and eight at an angle and it's rolling back and forth. He waits for it to stop. And he makes a nice try. He really tried to hit it high and push it back to cover the seven eight. Wasn't quite able to do it. Meanwhile Brandon Marks with a spare. He converts the one three nine. So Brandon with a very timely mark at this point. Brandon and Kevin having a pretty big mountain to climb at this point. Jesse Jakes with a five, actually that's, I think it's a six drop. He's got the two, four, five, and seven. That eight pin toppled out of the way a little late. Brandon with just four on the spare. He's had four spares in this match, but he's had not much luck on the fills. He's had fills of six, one, two, and four. And there's a spare by Jesse Jakes. He converts that two, four, five, seven nicely. So that's gonna add to the lead. Brandon with an eight box. Brandon has 81 through seven. Jesse with 83 plus the spare fill through seven. Jesse with a very light one-two pocket hit. He drops six. He's got 89. That makes it a lead of eight plus the, the 19. Or a 27 pin lead. Jakes and Szynski. And Brandon Marks, who made that spare earlier in this match, you'll recall, he converted that 3, 4, 6, 10. Trying to do it again, but wasn't quite able to uh, catch the 3 pin. So both bowlers will have 8 in the 8th box. Jesse Jakes and Jeff Szynski. Making uh, they're kind of a they were kind of a Cinderella team in this tournament. They had had some upset wins in match play. You'll recall the one over uh, Craig Holbrook and Joe Rochelo in an earlier round. And they both have bowled quite well in the last uh, the last couple of Pro Series events. good to see new faces. You don't want to have the same bowlers winning every tournament. It's good to have different bowlers having a chance to win. And that's one of the uh, one of the things that the Pro Series tries to do by having a lot tournaments in a lot of different formats. There are some that tend to be dominated by the top bowlers, like the, the ten string tournament. Usually in over ten strings one of the top four or five and on the average sheet is going to be the one who walks away with the title. But in some of the other formats, you can really get some surprises. And Brandon Marks almost able to convert that split. He and Kevin have had some really tough luck in this match. Especially Kevin. They, Brandon and Kevin have been all over the head pin for the most part, but haven't had much to look at. Anyhow, Jesse Jakes finishes with a 114 game and Brandon Marks with a 108. So that's six pins there plus the 19 pin lead that Jeff Slazinski has over Kevin Davis. That makes it a 25 pin lead for Jakes and Slazinski plus the, uh, the fill that Jeff will add here. And he puts five on that spare. So that makes it a even 30 pins. Kevin Davis has a lot of work to do here. And he starts off with a 9 drop. Pretty much mandatory that he convert this 9 pin. And is that going to go for Jeff? 
not quite. He had that split and almost got it to go. And there's a spare by Kevin Davis. Need a big fill to cut into that 30 pin lead. Jeff Lazinski very solid pinning with the 10 box. 80 through 6. Nice one three pocket hit by Jeff Lazinski dropping nine. Leaves just the five pin. And Kevin Davis with a tough break. Look at this. He has a one a very light one two pocket hit and just the head pin goes over everything and he's left with that uh, what we call a broomy. Takes out the one, two, four, eight. Very difficult combination to convert. That's named after Eric the Broom Bromberg. And a spare by Jeff Slazinski in the seventh. Kevin Davis with a nice try to take try and take down the broomy. Got everything but the seven pin. And he had a pin that came right over in front of the seven but didn't take it down. So that'll be a nine box. That gives Jeff an opportunity to pad the lead some more. It's uh, 26 right now. And he's got that, actually 27 because of the nine box. So it's 27 plus the fill on this spare. And that's an eight fill for Jeff, so that makes it a 35 pin lead. Kevin Davis with another first ball on the object pin, but he's got nothing to look at. He's got the two, three, six, and 10. Really a difficult spare. And again, he hits the object pin on the second ball not going to be rewarded. So that'll be an 8 for Kevin Davis against the spare by Jeff Lezinski. Filling the spare as he begins the ninth frame. Misses the head pin well out to the left, but he gets a nice break and drops 7, leaving the 1 five and eight with several pieces of wood and it, meanwhile what do you know another split for Kevin Davis he hit the head pin yet again and still has not much to look at he's got the one or rather the uh, three four and six and Jeff was able to convert that one five eight you can see he hit the head pin very light on the left hand side and that piece of wood behind it uh, I think it directed the ball a little bit to the right, so it took out the 5 and 8. So Jeff has his third consecutive spare. And Jeff Szynski had 6. He's got 131 through the ninth. So Jeff Szynski and... His partner, Jesse Jakes, will move on to the finals in this tournament. You've probably already seen the final match of this tournament when they uh, were actually defeated by Brian Purdy and Evan Mazzaferro, but it was an excellent run for Jesse Jakes and Jeff Slazinski. As you see, the handshakes all around, and we take a look at the scoreboard. Jesse and Jeff win this match by 54 pins over Brandon Marks and Kevin Davis in the semifinals of this Pro Series Random Draw Doubles event. So we will be back next week, probably with some action from the Pro Series Kids Pros Doubles event.